There are four positions that go with automation. There are two that you do not need to be trained on the software, which is scorer and verifier. A scorer collects the time cards that the runner brings, checks the times to make, checks the cards to make sure the correct time is circled, puts them in lane order, and then either hands off the time cards to the computer operator to enter or reads the times off depending on whatever want, what the decision is. The verifier is usually done at away meets and what it the verifier does is after the scorer and the operator and you know review and enter in the times and it's, everything's printed out they check the printouts of the of the times with the timesheets to make sure it's correct and then they post the times. The two positions in which you need to have training on the automation software, which is Meet Manager, are the Meet Setup, which is done the day before a meet, and Computer Operator, which is done during the meet. The Meet Setup is done the day before the meet. You collect the entries and rosters from each team. It's usually exchanged by email. You it's basically you just follow the steps you import the files and the computer will pretty much do most of the work for you there's a little bit of typing in for setting up the name of the meet then you also have to make sure the team records and pool records are also uploaded once you get everything set up and the meet seated which is then in place by time you would then run your meet program which is shows all the events and all the swimmers in each lane and you would print copies of that out there's 20 copies of that you need because you can the reps need them the referees the stroke and turns so there's 20 copies of those and you also would print out your time sheets for the lanes usually that's done the printing out is usually done at the clubhouse the night before the meet so that way you can actually have everything set up on the table for the meet the next day. And then computer operator, that is done during the meet. So you're basically, you're running the meet in the software. You're entering in the times as they come in. You run the report that then gives the places for everybody. Then you print them out. If it's an A meet, you score the meet. If it's a B meet, it's a little bit different because B meets we don't score. At the end of an A meet, you need to, in addition to, which you have to do for all meets, you have to do a meet backup after you run the meet, and you have to do a results file, which is basically, a lot of this is drop down and click. Those then have to be emailed to the division for an A meet. And the B meets are a little bit different as operator. First thing you have to do meet, after you set up the computer is go to the scratch meeting. <laughs> so that way you know what the changes are on deck. They're, they combine heats with boys and girls in order to try and get full heats to get, to get all six lanes used, to get everybody out sooner. And you need to be aware of that. So that way, if you have time before the meet starts, you can make those changes in the software before the timesheets start coming in to do entry. You still do the same backup and meet results as well for a B meet. You, a lot of people you can train with someone who's working with the system, but there's also at the beginning of each season, usually the beginning, end of May, beginning of June, if you go the, on the MCSL website, they actually have trainings on the software you can attend, where they go through the whole process for you if you're a new person. It's pretty easy, um, and actually it's generally indoors. Um, it's generally sitting down. So if someone has issues where standing on a deck can, for some people physically, that's not very easy to do. This, if you've got young children, I've tried to work and get some people that have really young children, if they can do the meet setup the day before, that counts as your time at the meet. And you can watch your little ones and your swimmers at the meet because you don't have to do anything. You've already done your job for the meet the day before. Anyone can do it. It's not that difficult because everyone knows how to use computers. It's mostly data entry and following step by step, and it's pretty easy. Yes, and you can get up and stop what you're doing and go and watch your kids swim, just like with everything else. It was just, I would suggest taking the training and then sitting with someone who's actually used it.
just to make sure it just makes you more comfortable.